What this document showed is that the company had extensive information about OxyContin's abuse uh, in 1997, 1998, 1999. Twenty years ago. Yes. Purdue Pharma was given permission to market OxyContin as less prone to abuse and addiction than competing narcotics. It was a gift from the FDA. They took that gift and they ran with it. Uh, they told doctors not only that it might be less prone to abuse and addiction, but that it would be less prone to abuse and addiction. In 2007, they admitted basically lying to doctors, lying to patients by mis misrepresenting what they had been allowed to say. What we didn't know was that during the course of the investigation that led to that confession, the federal government had also uncovered information to show that not only had they mismarketed the drug, they were aware, almost from the beginning, that people were abusing OxyContin, significantly abusing OxyContin, and they concealed that information. Uh, had they sent a, a warning about that to the public, uh, OxyContin would have never become a billion-dollar drug, and thousands of people's of lives—thousands uh, of lives wouldn't have been affected by it.